Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of physics, we shall discuss about work, power and energy. Okay, so let's get started with this session. So what do you mean by work, power and energy? So first, what is work? So work we have already discussed in physical quantities, right? So work is a scalar quantity we have seen. So first, what is work? Work means it is doing a physical or mental activity, right? Suppose I'm moving a block from one place to another. A to B. So that is called work done. Suppose if I'm thinking something, that is a mental activity, right? That is also a work done, right? I need some energy to do that, right? So both physical and mental activity comes under work, right? So but in mechanics, it is usually associated with movement only. The physical movement is nothing but work done in mechanics of physics so work is said to be done when force produces a motion and it is measured by the product of force into distance suppose i am applying a force of 10 newtons now the distance from a to b is 10 meters so now the object has moved from a to b of 10 meters so what is the work done here 10 into 10 is nothing but 100 newton meter that is joules 1 newton meter is equals to joules so what is the unit of work done it is joules and it is a scalar quantity right it has it doesn't has any direction right so work done is nothing but it's doing which a force causes any movement right so moving on so as example i've told you 10 is 10 newton into 2 meters which will be 20 newton meters or 20 joules is the work done here from moving an object to a to b right so next what do you mean by power so power is nothing but rate of doing work that means i am comparing with time now earlier in work i don't have any time how much in how much time i am moving that object earlier i am moving an object from a to b here so you can see this diagram Right, so 10 newton I have applied and it has moved from A to B of 2 meters and how much time I did not mention. So if I mention the time limit that is called power. So power is nothing but rate of doing work, work done by time. Right, so work done we have the unit is in joules that is newton meter per second. So 1 joule per second is 1 watts. Right, so 1 horsepower we have for motors right for generators horsepower right so 1 hp is equals to 746 watts so as an example a strong boy can climb a hill than a weak boy why because of same weight they have same weight because the farmer has the capability of developing more power so stronger boy has more power because he can climb that hill in very less time right and the weak boy can cannot climb that hill in, in very less time he'll take more times clear with this so this is about power moving on to energy so we have seen work done power now energy so capacity to do a work is energy right it has it is a scalar and has no unit again the unit is same so work done and energy has same units remember this they have the same units joule or one newton meter Clear with this so there are two forms of mechanical energy what are those potential energy and kinetic energy hope you have studied at school days these two what is potential energy and kinetic energy so first what is potential energy it is energy which is stored and measured by the amount of work done example is roller coaster water wheel oil in a barrel water in a lake book on a table all these are examples of potential energy by virtue of its it will possess its energy right so potential energy is carried where m is mass in kilograms g is acceleration due to gravity h is the height in meters suppose there is a table here this is a table this is a ground suppose there is a book here right the book has a mass of m and the height is h and g is acceleration due to gravity where the earth will pull down so potential energy is equals to mgh everyone knows this formula right so because it is placed at a height of h it has some potential energy same like water gushing through the gates of a dam or a reservoir right 
So that is a potential energy. And what is kinetic energy? So kinetic energy is an energy which is in motion. While I'm in motion, I will get an extra power to move somewhat forward, right? Moving wind, moving water, machines, baseball flying in the air. All these are examples of kinetic energy, right? So kinetic energy of a non-rotating object is half mb square, half of mass into the velocity square will give you the kinetic energy right so what are the other types of energy these are general types of energy potential and kinetic energy we have mechanical energy is the energy of motion that does the work suppose i want to do the work that is called mechanical energy right an example of mechanical energy is the wind as it turns a windmill wave energy or sound energy right the wind is possessing the mechanical energy here right and what are the other types of energy thermal or heat energy it is the energy that is pushed into motion by heat right so example a fire in your fireplace a hot cup of coffee all these are thermal or heat energy and chemical energy is energy possessed by chemical reactions suppose there are like uh, nuclear reactor there is a chemical reaction going there right you will generate power right so chemical energy is food when it is cooked glucose in it will provide glucose in our body right so these are some of the other types of energy apart from potential kinetic we have these other types of energy right some more other types of energy we have electrical energy when electricity creates motion light or heat example of electric energy is electrical coils on your stove it will provide us the fire right so here electrical energy is converted into heat energy gravitational energy because of the gravitation fields possessed by any body right so water flowing down a waterfall roller coaster reservoir because of gravity the river will move from the higher altitude towards the lower altitude okay remember this moving on to conservation of energy what do you mean by conservation of energy so the amount of energy remains constant and it is neither created nor destroyed suppose I am converting electrical energy to heat energy. So someday it will be converted into another energy. Someday it will be converted into another energy. So this is always a cycle. So energy is neither created nor destroyed. It will change its forms from one energy to another energy. Right? One form to another. But the total energy within the domain remains fixed right and the change in energy of an object is due to the transformation and it is equal to the work done on the object by the object or by the object for the transformation so generally energy how it is produced because energy is nothing but is a capacity to do a work right so it will be equal to that right moving on about conservation of energy so few examples of conservation of energy when an object is at height potential energy is stored by virtue of its height just now i've told you so because when it falls from a height so potential energy will be decreased and it will be converted into kinetic energy because now it is moving when it starts falling right so like that energy will be converted into one form into another right so water can produce energy water falls from the sky converting potential energy into earlier it was stored in the clouds right so water drops are stored the Edward, they were producing kinetic energy when they fall they will convert get converted into kinetic energy right and this energy is used to rotate the turbine of a generator producing electricity you can see the electro hydroelectric power stations near the dams or reservoirs right so they convert into potential energy into kinetic energy so that electrical energy is generated okay so these are some of the renewable energies non renewable energy solar energy hydropower energy biomass energy geothermal energy okay well, what is geothermal energy we have some uh, hot water gushing out of the earth's surface right like example is manikaran in himachal pradesh lay in ladakh okay that hot water can be used to produce steam and the steam can be used to run the turbine from wind we have wind, wind energy these are renewable right they are non-exhaustible right they will not exhaust that's why they are called renewable
and these are exhaustible they will like get exhausted after some years fossil fuels petrol diesel all these coal they will exhaust after some years nuclear natural gas okay so we must conserve energy that is the main motto right so we must effectively use the resources of the mother earth right so this is all for this session from work power and energy we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much